Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally going to be bringing you my Christmas home tour. I hope it's not too late to go ahead and upload this, but I've just been crazy busy this holiday season that it's been kind of hard for me to film and edit. So I'm really sorry if this is a little too late, but I thought I would just go ahead and put it up. That way you guys are able to see it at least. And hopefully you guys are still able to find some of these items in store if you guys are interested. The rest of the video is going to be like a vlog style. That way I can give you guys a little bit more of a detail and a lot more information that way. So I hope you guys have a blessed Christmas and I'll see you guys until my next video. Bye guys! Let's go ahead and get started with the mantle. So the two white shutters that you guys see on each side, those are from Michaels and I always have those up year round. Um, the little wreaths that are hanging from those, those are from the Target dollar spot this year. The flocked wreath in the middle is from Walmart last year, but they carry it every year. And then the ribbon that says Merry Christmas, I just added it on there. Um, that one is from Marshalls. My candlesticks are from TJ Maxx. And then the two, the white trees are from Target as well as the little houses. The deers are from TJ Maxx this year and then the burlap garland is from Hobby Lobby in their fall section. I picked this up uh, like a month ago when they had all their fall leftover stuff on clearance for 80% off and I believe I picked it up for five dollars and I knew I would be able to use it in the Christmas, in my Christmas um, decor, because for fall I don't use any burlap. I use more of the neutral colors. So for Christmas, I do love using burlap since I do like using a lot of white to add some texture to it. So that's what my mantle looks like, and then I just added some lights to the burlap garland to give it a little bit more of a Christmas touch. Have my fireplace going, and then here is my tree. This is the $35 flocked tree from Walmart. This is our third year with this tree and it's held up pretty good. The only thing that is kind of, of a downside is that it does shed a lot like when you're flocking it out. Every Christmas we always end up with a whole bunch of flock on our clothes. So that's the only bad thing about this tree but honestly for my space and since we are in an apartment it's the perfect tree for us so mostly all the ornaments on here are from the 99 cent store or like Dollar Tree um, I'm gonna go ahead and go through them with you that way if you guys are interested in any you guys can probably check your stores so the ribbon I just have the same ribbon that I have up on my wreath on my mantle and that one is from Marshalls again. All the snowflake ornaments that you guys see right here, those are from the 99 cent store along with the little balls right here. These are also from the 99 cent store. The black and white ones are from Hobby Lobby. Um, let's see, the black ones are from Walmart. The little wood cutouts, those are from I think Hobby Lobby also and then um, those picks right here those are from Michaels last year this like singing notes the that was a banner from last year's Target dollar spot and I just used I just used it around my tree the black and white ribbon that you guys see right here that's from the heart and hand collection last year at Target uh, what else let me see what else I think that's pretty much it I just used a lot of like wood black and white and then um, just like more texture white ornaments to complete our tree over here on this side I have these two brick mirrors that I picked up at Jerome's a few years ago when we first got married and I always like to just go ahead and string around a wreath. The, this one is from Michaels last year. And I think that's a super inexpensive way to just go ahead and spruce up your everyday home decor. For Christmas, it's just adding a wreath, a garland, some greenery, something that incorporates Christmas to it. 
And then on my TV stand, I have these olive buckets that I picked up at Target Dollar Spot a few months ago also, along with some fake Christmas trees in there. I have one on each side. And then on this side, I have my ladder. And this is where I hung my stockings on. So I have my husband's stocking and then mine on there. And over here, on my centerpiece and my coffee table, I kept it really, really simple. So I just have this Gavin Elias tray that it's from the Target Dollar Spot a few months ago, along with the green garland in there. The beaded one is from Hobby Lobby, and then those two flameless candles are from Ross, I believe. And then as we come around this side, I kept this side super neutral. Um, I just have on each of my side tables, I just have another Christmas tree with the lamp. Then I have a candle burning over here on this one. But I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and do something different with this wall if we don't end up moving. So that might be a future video for you guys. Let me know if you guys want to see something like that, how I transform this wall. I want to do something a little bit more farmhouse. I'm definitely going to keep my wedding pictures up there also, but I want to add a couple more pieces and just kind of spread them out a little bit. And then I'm thinking of also adding like a somewhat of a dresser on this side, on this side over here, like maybe here a dresser and then something like up there. Um, just because this wall is so big and I feel like it is, I don't know, I just don't like the way it looks as much anymore. So I might just spread out the pictures and then add a dresser. We'll see what I come up with. But let me know if you guys want to go ahead and see that. So I just have that on there and we're going to go ahead and move into my kitchen. That way I can go ahead and show you guys there what I did. And then here's one more look. So on this bar area that we have right here, I just added this vase with some fake snow and then the greenery branches are from Michaels. And then over here on this side of my counters, you guys know that I don't like to have a lot of things on my counters because I do cook a lot so I like to keep it very minimal especially because sometimes we go ahead and eat on this area and it's a lot easier just to move the tray over and then just stand right here and eat when we watch TV, which is sometimes what we do. So I just have this tray that I got at Home Goods, and then I have a green tree that I picked up, I think two years ago from the um, Target Dollar Spot, and then I just added some of the fake snow. The gingerbread house is from Michaels this year. And I love it. And then I have my Ray Dunn Mrs. Claus's kitchen canister. And then I have one of these little marshmallow cups that I got at Amazon with some peppermint sticks in there. Um, this is a set of four. It comes in a set of four. And I will go ahead and show you guys the other ones when we get to them. But they're so cute. And I think they're perfect for Christmas. So I just have that there. And then over here, everything is the same. That fresh daily sign is from Michaels like a month or two ago. I'm burning my Bath and Body Works prep, Twisted Peppermint Candle. I love everything pep peppermint in my kitchen during Christmas. So, and then I have this Merry Christmas dish towel that I got at TJ Maxx. Over here on this side, I have this sign that says all is calm all is bright and that's from marshall's i have my ray dunn salt and pepper my coffee and tea canisters i added over here usually they're in my coffee bar area but since my coffee bar is right now a hot cocoa bar i didn't have any room to put my coffee and tea canisters so since we do my husband does drink a lot of coffee um, every single day I knew I had to put them on the counter so I put them on this side of the counter and then this Christmas tree is from Joann's I got it for five dollars and then I just strung around some twinkling lights from Target so I love how that came out and then up here I just have my bread box and then I have some, an olive bucket with some more greenery from Michaels just super simple 
and then as I come along over here I have a Christmas tree from Target um, this is one of their three dollar ones that are a really good deal right now when you go and then I have of course my Mrs. Myers hand soap and dish soap in the scent peppermint this is definitely my favorite I just love everything peppermint in the Christmas time so I love this I wish they would make this like one of their permanent scents because it just smells so fresh and so good so I always pick up extras that way it lasts me all till next Christmas and then I just have my dish towel right here this is from the hearth and hand collection I believe last year and then as we're coming over here I, this is mostly for decor so I just have these two reindeers that I picked up at Kohl's and then I have my cookie jar with some red Oreos in there and then the Christmas tree is from TJ so then on this wall um, I just added those pails that I had in my living room from Hobby Lobby and I put some greenery in there the gather here with grateful heart sign is from Hobby Lobby back in their fall section as well I got it on a very good deal after the fall stuff was on sale along with the burlap garland that I have on my mantle this I only paid, ended up paying six dollars for this which I thought was such a steal and I could definitely use this up year round in my kitchen which is why I decided to go ahead and buy it because since we do live in an apartment if it was something that I would only be able to have out during the fall time then I would it's such a big piece that I would have nowhere to store it so I just love the fact that it is something that I can have up year round because you gather at the dinner table so all the greenery and the pails are from Hobby Lobby and then I just added this Christmas wreath down here from the Target Dollar Spa and I added some ribbon just to give it a Christmas touch and then I just love that sign it's so cute. So this is my hutch and I put the very top I have just two Christmas trees on each end. The wooden reindeers are from TJ Maxx this year and then I have my birdhouses as usual up there. And this is what my hutch looks like. Usually I do very simple setups, but for Christmas I decided to go all out and just put all of my Christmas in here. I love the way it turned out. For the middle shelf, I wanted to do like a Candyland theme and I love the way it looks. I think it looks super cute and um, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you kind of where I picked up things because I know I always get a lot of questions so I'm going to go ahead and do like a detailed version of where I got everything and then we're going to go ahead and move on to my cocoa bar also so let's go ahead and start off here I have just my Ray Dunn canister so I have my Naughty and Nice and then I have my Cheer canister um, this Santa's workshop little sign is from the Target dollar spot this year and then all the greenery is from Michaels. It was actually a garland, but I just decided to take off the branches off the big strand and just use them in different areas in my hutch. Um, that's kind of a suggestion that I have for you guys or a little tip is it was probably going to cost me anywhere from $10 to $15 to pick up this much greenery and branches. And honestly, the garland was, I believe, $7, so I was going to save myself $3, and I still have a lot left over. So uh, my tip for you guys is if there is a garland on sale, you guys can always go ahead and just tear it apart versus buying a lot of stems if you don't need that, much stem, that many stems. So that's what I always go ahead and do. For my middle shelf, I did kind of like a candy lamp theme. And I love the way it turned out. I have the gingerbread Christmas trees that I picked up at Michael's. I have a few of those. Um, I have another one down here inside my gingerbread bowl with some vintage kitchen tools back there. I have a Christmas gnome that I picked up at TJ Maxx. And then in my middle shelf, this is where I kind of did like the Candyland theme, the Candy Can fac Factory, Candy Cane Factory, I can't speak, is from Burlington this year. 
and then I just have my canisters that say sweets, kisses, treats. I have my Mary Coco Pop with some peppermint candies in there. My synonym container. Um, I have some pe more peppermint candies inside my little peppermint canister. I have some marshmallows, some Hershey's Kisses, some M&M's, and then this cute little gingerbread I picked up at Hobby Lobby. He's actually one of those arts and crafts gingerbread that you can go ahead and make stuff with or add stuff to. All I did is added, I added some of the like super glue and I just sprinkled some of the fake snow that I got at Target on top of him. And I added a little cute little beanie from the Target Dollar Spa and I love the way that turned out. And I have him holding the little scoop. So I love how that looks. And then up at the very top, I have my most favorite items that I have this year. So my this is my first year with my Mary teapot. I've had it stored away for I think now three months and I could not wait to pull it up for Christmas and use it. So I love this one. When I first started collecting about a year ago, this was definitely one of the pieces that I wanted to go ahead and get and I was so happy when I received it. So that one's definitely one of my favorites along with Santa's cookies um, which I thought I was never going to go ahead and find in store so I have those two right here and then I have my Jingle Bells pie plate inside of my Target Dollar Spot sled. I got mine last year but they brought them back this year. I have this little reindeer that is actually an ornament that I got at Walmart and I just kind of have it inside my sled. I have another one of these North Pole signs from Target. And there's that right there. So I love the way this turned out. Coming over here to this side, I just have a few more canisters. I have another one of those gingerbread trees. I have a total of four that I kind of just spread out in my hutch. The black boots in the back are from the Target Dollar Spot and then the two Santa hats inside those mug ornaments are also from the Target Dollar Spot. So there's the overview of that. This is definitely one of my favorite displays that I've done. I just think it looks super cute. So the last little area that we're going to go ahead and go over is my cocoa bar. I have a whole video dedicated to this, but I did switch some things up, so I'm going to go ahead and go over it really quick. So, the Christmas Blend Hot Cocoa Sign is from Ross. My mug rack is from Kirkland's. It's currently out of stock, but I'm hoping they bring it back. That way, I know a lot of people still want it, and hopefully a lot of you guys still have the chance to go ahead and grab it if they bring it back. So, I'm hoping they do. I have three different garlands stranded around my mug rack. The star and the greenery garland, those are from the Target Dollar Spa along with the little mittens that are hanging on the side. The like Jingle Bells garland is from Marshalls last year. I have my Red Merry Christmas mug at the very top and then I have my Cocoa Latte Peppermint Mocha and another Cocoa mug in my mug rag along with my milk pitcher. I have some of the Target Christmas trees along with the Target sign that says warm up at the cocoa bar. And then I have my chocolate chips tray that I got at Hobby Lobby, my cocoa canister, my hot cocoa pot, a little bit more of the scoops. Here's another one of those marshmallow cups and I also added a Target dollar spot beanie to that. Um, I have this Santa stop here, kitchen towel that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then here's my tear tray. I just have um, my mason jars with some peppermint sticks along with some marshmallows. I have this ornament that I pick up that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. It just says cocoa with the marshmallow and I love that one. I have another one, the very last marshmallow cup with the tree and then this little welcome sign. I think that one came with the Santa and I just took it apart from the Santa and I used it here. I have my Tis the Season mug with some of my stirs and some spoons. I have some sprinkles. So that's what that my cocoa bar looks like. 
And then I just have this sign over here that I got at Hobby Lobby. So that's that. And that's it for my Christmas home tour. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to go ahead and leave me a comment down below. And subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. Bye guys.